You know, I was going over some of the pictures when I was doing my last video, some of the screenshots of news events, and one of the things that really struck me was how on that answer that claims that if somebody says that they can fix your phone or get your data back, they can't, you might as well just be burning your money, that not only is that answer still up on the Apple Community Support forums, even though it's been demonstrably proven to be false on live stream repeatedly, from dozens of different data recovery companies. It actually has a little logo next to it that says Apple Recommended. And the reason I bring this up is because there were many naysayers, and I really do believe that this deserves more coverage and attention than it gets. There were many people that said that that forum is just random people. They're not moderators. They don't represent Apple. Even though it's a forum on their website, it doesn't represent Apple. So it really struck me today when I went back to that site and I saw that next to his answer saying that if you want to get data off your phone, if you want to use this woman, you might as well just be throwing your money away, that it says, that, you know, it's an Apple recommended answer with Apple's logo right next to it. Just in case you were confused, hey, this is Apple's website, but I don't know if this thing on Apple.com is something that Apple, you know, considers to be reputable. Right next to that post with clearly wrong information. Yeah, just don't send your phone to that lady. She's, of, of course, not only are we going to say that she probably can't fix it or that she's unauthorized, but you might as well be burning your money. Apple recommends it. And there's a level of arrogance present here that I think is really important to bring up. Because the thing is, I'm, you know, I, I may come off as an asshole, but I also have been wrong on many occasions. I've been wrong with business advice. I've been wrong with companies that I've started. I've been wrong when going over news stories. One of the things that I try to do when I'm wrong about these things is tell you that I was wrong. If the video does not get the requisite view count or attention, I will produce another one so that there's more visibility on the fact that I was wrong about something. And if there's any sort of controversial issue or question about something I've done or something I've taken part in, I will do my best to explain it to virtually anybody that asks in the most detailed manner that I can so that it can be understood. So it's very interesting to me when a company says something like this and, you know, they're regularly telling their customers this when they show up at Genius Bar appointments. They're regularly saying this on their online forum. They get called out by national news for saying something that is demonstrably not true. And not only do they keep it up, but people double down on defending them on the fact that, oh, yeah, well, it, it doesn't really matter if that's not true because that's not because that, that, you know, that, that's just not a community support forum. Or they're not able to do that. It was like, no, no, no. We're not saying that Apple should be doing data recovery. We're not saying that. We're simply saying that it would be nice if you would stop lying to your customers and saying that it's impossible when it's not. And perhaps a little citation next to that post saying, hey, this is full of shit rather than it's having a little logo so that people who read it actually believe that that answer is supported and backed up with the full strength of the $200 billion company, it would be nice to not have that there. But there, there's something to be said for a company that refuses, genuinely refuses to ever admit when they are wrong. And there are resources there to admit when you are wrong. There are individuals that manage this forum. These are individuals that get paid of, of you know, what I would consider a decent sum. It's considerably more than I, I pay my Discord moderators, I can say that much. And to me, it says a lot when a company is willing to not only say, I don't care about the misinformation that I said in the past, I am going to keep that misinformation up as long as humanly possible. And for anybody who's wondering as to whether or not that is misinformation, I would highly suggest that you check out a channel on YouTube called iPad Rehab, where virtually every day she's doing a new live stream that showcases that this information that you see here is complete and utter bullshit. It just watch her stream on a regular basis. She'll, she recovers all sorts of phones that many people were not able to recover. When there was that shooting in Olathe, Kansas that ended up in someone dying, she recovered that gentleman's phone for his wife and then called her to tell her that it was successful. She's recovered all sorts of items that if people actually trusted what they saw on this screen, they would never have their data back. And it just makes me sick to see that a company six months after being called out by national news is still willing to keep that up there. That's just a level of arrogance that even by New York standards is fairly disgusting to me. You know it's wrong. You know it's bullshit. And it's been six months since you've known that it's wrong and bullshit. And since tens of millions of people have watched that piece on CBC to learn that it's bullshit. But you leave it up there 
knowing that somebody may click on that and it may just discredit somebody who's making your products work again when you're not providing an avenue for them to work again just a tiny bit and it's worth it to them it doesn't matter if they if it ruins their reputation it doesn't matter if it's immoral or unethical or a lie or untrue so long as it drags down the reputation of a third party just a little bit it's worth leaving it up there and for that fuck you apple